Okay, so welcome back to Foxtech. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can sync your Magic Mouse to your MacBook. Uh, syncing your Magic Mouse to a MacBook Pro or any other Mac for that matter is a very straightforward process, which involve, involves pairing your Magic Mouse to your computer so that it works seamlessly. At first, let's address the basics of syncing. Syncing essentially means pairing your Magic Mouse to your Mac. So if your Magic Mouse has previously been paired with your Mac, but you've since used it with another device or disconnected it, do not worry, I'm gonna guide you through the process. Typically, if nothing has changed in your setup, your Magic Mouse should automatically reconnect when you start clicking it near your computer. Uh, you should see a pop-up indicating that it's connected. However, if it doesn't reconnect, there are a few potential reasons why this might be happening. First thing you should check is whether the switch on the back of the mouse is turned on. The Magic Mouse has a small switch that toggles it on and off. You'll know it's on the, uh, you know if it's the area behind it is like green. If you can see the green color, it is turned on, but make sure that it is turned on and start clicking if it, to see if it reconnects automatically. If your Magic Mouse doesn't reconnect, the next step is to go to your Max settings and navigate to the Bluetooth section. Since we are just reconnecting the mouse, it should already appear in the list of available devices, but if not, you can find it in the list of the new devices. Anyways, just click the connect button and you should be good to go. If you want to further enhance your um, user experience, if you are already connected, you can adjust some settings related to your mouse because in the system preferences or in the settings, on the left panel, there is the uh, mouse section and there are pages like, uh, or settings like the uh, tracking speed or um, right click or secondary click, more gestures. So you can select swiping with one or two fingers between pages and all the stuff can be modified in here. So you can also do that to change your user experience. So that's gonna be about it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.